Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about another class of failures which can arise in your cloud-based applications when you apply upgrades or any bug fix patches to those applications. We'll see more details shortly. Life of a software application is much longer than, let's say, the time it took to roll out the initial version of that software application. And when the application is used over a period of time, you may have to apply upgrades or patches to that application. And this may be required typically when you are releasing newer features into the application or fixing some defects which get uncovered during the prolonged usage of that application. And in several scenarios, you may not have the luxury to bring the application down when you roll out such kind of upgrades or patches. And in those scenarios, it is very important to make sure that there are no failures that are noticed by the end users who may be accessing those internet accessible applications uh, from different clients and different locations. Let's look at one scenario. So you may have, let's say, a web-based application which is accessed through some sort of a client, uh, for example, a web browser. And on server side, you may have deployed your application in some sort of a virtual machine on a cloud platform, let's say. And uh, let's say the, uh, at time T1, the software upgrade starts and then client, some client X initiates the request. And then at time T3, an upgraded version of an application handles the request. That is the initial request that was issued that goes to an upgraded version. Now, server sends a reply and in the same session of the initial client that we who initiated the initial request, he or she may be sending another request in the same session. And this might happen to be handled by an older version of the application, which is still active on some particular instance of the virtual machine. Here we are assuming that the application is deployed on a cluster of VMs. Uh, it could be uh, required due to high availability requirements from the application, etc. Now, that is, there are more than one machines on which the application instance has to be deployed. So, as we just said, at initial time, some software up upgrade starts, client sends the initial request, which lands up with the upgraded version, let's say, which gets deployed to one of the virtual machines. And subsequent request in the same session might end up with a virtual machine which still does not have the upgraded software deployed completely on it. So you have here a situation where in a single client session with the application, there are requests, some of which are going to be forwarded to a upgraded version and some of them are going to be forwarded to a still older version of the application. And obviously, it might lead to a error scenario because there may be some functionality which the client requests are requiring from the application and the, soft and the software upgrade that is being applied to the application is such that it has some impact on that functionality. And in such a case, you may very well end up in an error scenario and the client might see some errors thrown back into the web browser. So how do you handle these kind of situation is what we are going to look at. Before we look at the solution, let's first look at what is our requirement from the solution itself. We want to make sure that whenever the client is interacting with our application, and we are assuming here that the application is, let's say, some sort of a web application deployed on a cloud-based platform using either infrastructure as a service or something else. We want to make sure that the client is always interacting with the latest application version on the server side. And also we want to retain the ability to load balance the uh, requests on the current application version, regardless of how many version of the applications are active. That is, as we saw in the previous uh, use case that we just saw in the previous slide, that there may be a scenario where multiple versions of the applications may be active for even for a fraction of a second, let's say. And in such kind of a scenario, we want to make sure that still we have the load balancing of the requests happening. And we also have to make some assumptions uh, before we come up with some solutions. Uh, and the first one is that we need to maintain a, we can maintain a backward compat compatibility of the application versions. What backward compatibility here means is that whenever you upgrade an application, it does not violate any contract 
which was honored by the previous version of the application that is some piece of functionality which was working in a particular manner in a existing version of the application it continues to work after the upgrades to the application as well similarly we assume that the there is some way to dynamically let the clients know during their interaction with the application that what is the latest version of the application which has been deployed on the cluster on a cloud let's say and in fact key to our possible one possible solution lies in the second assumption that is somehow we need to send to the client this information about the latest version available of the particular application the client is interacting with now let's look at the solution idea the key points here are as follows we treat each application version as a separate destination for the client's requests secondly the client knows that what is the latest version number of an application that it has ever interacted with especially in a given session the client has to know that what is the latest version of the application that it has sent its requests to and thirdly the load balancer will route the requests based on the version number information which the client will be sending to the server side since we are talking of web based applications this version number can be specified in the http headers let's say or in some header information of the message that the client sends back to the application on server side and the key points for the load balancer to work correctly with this solution is that it will always forward a given request with number let's say xx to an application instance which whose version is greater than this particular specified version right so let's say if the load balancer receives a request from a client whose header is specifying the application version the latest application version known to client as version number 2 let's say the load balancer will always forward this request to the instance on the server side where the application version deployed is greater than or equal to 2 and in case there is no version number found on the application's request then the load balancer follows its normal request for uh, forwarding algorithm and sends the request to an appropriate application instance so what are the implications of this solution idea one of the key implication is that now for every interaction that the client will have with the application on the server side the application logic has to be coded in such a manner that in response to every client request the application sends what is the current version of this application so that in a subsequent request the client can specify in the header the last uh, highest version that it has interacted with and this leads to more information flowing back and forth between the client and server even though it may be very small it's just a, let's say it can be just a small number but still there is additional state element that is flowing between client and the server and additionally now we have the load balancer who has to have a knowledge of the version number based routing that is now the load balancer will have to inspect each and every request and find out the latest version number in each request and based on that make a routing decision and this can be an overhead if there is a there is a very heavy traffic experienced by the web application there can be yet another issue related to security let's say there was a security vulnerability uh, in the in the older version of the application which you fixed now if a malicious client knew about this vulnerability and the version number that you are sending back from your application to the client is in a clear text let's say that is the client is able to find out what is the version number uh, what is the version numbering scheme that you are using the client may manually alter the header in the http request let's say and keep sending the older version to still allow him to exploit the vulnerability which existed in the older version of the application so you need to take care of these kind of scenarios one easy fix could be to encrypt the version number in such a manner that the client is not able to replay the older version numbers back to the application and another possible solution could be that you always make sure that after upgrade the older versions do not remain active beyond a particular period of time so that the eventually all the older versions are removed and only the latest version remains active 
that is the window of time on which both the older and the newer version of the applications are active that is minimized. So that is pretty much it in this lecture. Thank you.